Terminology in Critical Reasoning A clear understanding of the different terms used in critical reasoning would make it much easier for a person trying to solve questions in this topic. I'll quickly take you through the four important terms used in critical reasoning. Let us use this example to understand the four terms. He always uses an Apple iPhone. Therefore, he's a fan of Apple products. 1. Argument What comes to your mind when I say the term argument? I know most of you are right now thinking about heated discussions, beat red phases, etc. Well, sorry to disappoint you guys. That is not the definition of an argument. A set of statements given in support or against an idea is known as an argument. In a court of law, what an advocate presents in support of his client is his argument. So, the previous example, both sentences together comprise an argument. 2. Premise or Evidence It is a piece of information that is stated in the question. A premise may be a fact an opinion or a claim that provides support for the conclusion. It may otherwise be called as evidence. So in the example given, the statement saying that he is a fan of Apple iPhone is derived from the fact that he always uses an Apple iPhone. The premise or evidence here is he always uses an Apple iPhone. 3. Conclusion It is a decision arrived at. The purpose of an argument is to arrive at a conclusion. In the given example, the conclusion is, therefore, he is a fan of Apple products. 4. Assumption It is an unstated piece of information that must be true for the evidence to lead to the conclusion. It should help form a link between evidence and conclusion. In the example given, he always uses an Apple iPhone is used as evidence based on which the author derives the conclusion that he is a fan of Apple products. In order to do this, a necessary assumption is required. That is, only fan of Apple products will use an Apple iPhone. Remember, assumptions are not stated in an argument but can make or break the conclusion. 